Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the January 2015 reading for Gemini. <laughs> Whenever I say Gemini, I'm tempted to be like, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Um, it feels mercurially correct <laughs> somehow. Um, okay, so let's see what we've got for January 2015. The first card out is the Ten of Swords in Reverse. So it seems like maybe a situation that has caused you a lot of pain um, it's coming up for you this month and it's coming up to be healed is the sense I get from that that you can make a new start on it you can move past it this month but there's a decision to be made about how to do that how to get to that new start and you can't just rush it you can't rush into anything that's not going to get you where you want to go um, you need to kind of patiently gather the strands of why the situation went so awry. Yeah, I feel that really strongly. That it's like, so I'm looking at the Ten of Rods in reverse, which is speaking to the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the Ten of Swords is all like all of the, all of the swords in the back. Um, and then the Ten of Rods is all of these, all of these things coming together, right? So, um, yeah, I think you really need to go back over kind of what happened in this painful situation in order to move forward from it, um, in order to not have to go back and repeat it. And you may be nervous about doing this, about revealing maybe your part in something to someone, um, but it seems like something that is really going to feel so much better if you do that you're going to be cleared of it and you're going to be able to begin anew. And it's going to be, I think it's really going to be received better than you think it will be. Um, and if this is some, a situation in which someone else really hurt you, I think that maybe they're going to feel the call to come and fix that this month. Um, it seems like it's really a time for there to be sort of new water poured, a time to refresh things, um, a time to bring things together. Old ways of thinking can be kind of rehabbed at this time, it looks like. Um, or you can really successfully think through the ways of thinking that got you onto the path that you're on now and change them if necessary so that you can be more in line with your larger goals. Yeah, with where you should be. Yeah, again, you may not be sure how to do this. You may try kind of one way and then the other. But it seems to me like the magic is even in the trying. You know, even if you don't do it just right, it seems like the power is in the trying to do it. And that you're going to gain a lot from thinking through these issues. And it's like you really just won't have to go back to where you've been before. You won't have to behave in the same ways, um, especially if they're ways that have not been working for you. But yeah, it seems like there is, again, like a new, there's just a lot of new growth. There is, it seems like it's time for something new to begin. And again, I'm getting a strong sense of needing to go back to the past before you can move forward in any way, really. Like, I think you need to realize the richness of where you are now or what you have had. It seems like the answer is not in looking towards something that you don't already, that you haven't already experienced. It seems like going back and re-seeing whatever painful situation this is through new eyes is really where it's at. Um, and I think that that is going to lead you to be ready to not only be ready to make a new start, but to somehow move from this kind of position of like, I don't know, do I do it this way, do I do it that way, which is uncomfortable, to suddenly being fairly certain about how you want this thing to proceed. Um, it doesn't mean it's exactly how it's going to go, but at least you have some strong ideas about where you would like to go, and I think that's really comforting to you. Um...
Yeah, the idea that you can make a new start somehow kind of like setting your brain on fire. It's like you're just full of it this month. Like not full of it, but like full of this newness. And you're really feeling hopeful and transformed. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, and yeah, it's going to, I got the same kind of lineup for a different sign. Um, I think maybe for Capricorn, but I'm not sure. That it, again, it sort of puts an end to feeling isolated or feeling alone. Like you've got all these rich thoughts, but they're not coming out to anyone. They're not like going anywhere. So it puts an end to that and starts forward movement on um, yeah, on something that puts you into a wider world, something that um, puts you into relation with other people in a one-on-one -on -one sense, in an intimate sense, and also community-wise. So it kind of opens you up this new direction. Again, there's a lot of uncertainty cards in here and like in different forms. It's like, so this might be a month where you're just going through the process, you're transforming yourself and you're going through the process and you feel certain and then you don't feel certain and then you feel certain and then you don't feel certain. So I think it might be a month of just a lot of sort of adjusting, a lot of trying to figure it out. Because this to me feels like you started this movement and you're still not entirely sure and it's, I think it's not even that you're not sure. I think you're just finally looking back at what you're leaving behind and wondering if you can really leave it behind, if it's, if it's not too much to give up. But I would say that the forward is the only way to go. Whatever you are holding on to is just like quicksand underneath your feet. It's not going to last anyway. So it's time to cut, <laughs> cut bait and uh, keep it moving. But yeah, it just may feel like a lot. A lot um, going on. A lot that you're being asked to change about your perception of yourself. And you may feel like you have no say in it or something. So that may be uncomfortable. But yeah. You're, what you're glimpsing is something that is... It's the beginning of... Um, a really important movement in your future. And it's not something that you can turn down in a way. And I think you know that. I think maybe that's part of the fear is that you feel yourself moving towards it, even though you may not feel entirely prepared. But I will tell you, <laughs> from here it looks very safe to go there. It's what's, what's not safe is to stay where you've been, is to not learn from what, you, what has happened to you, what you've done to others. It's time to move forward into a new way of being. Um, and that new thing may just seem so distant that you're not sure that you can ever really get there. It feels very much like you have an idea in your mind of a new way of seeing yourself. Like the example I would give is like you're seeing yourself like, you're like, okay, like, I want to be a father. But then, you know, and so part of you is like, yeah, that's what I really want. Like, I want to have a baby. I want to be a dad. And that's going to be great. And then part of you is like, whoa, you know, I'm just not ready for that. Like, I don't see how I can ever be that thing. It just seems so un unreal to me. Like, I want it, but I just don't even, I can't grasp anything but the contour of the idea. So that's what it feels like, is you're moving towards something like that. But... I would say don't worry about it. There's a path to get there and you don't have to just jump onto the thing itself with no preparation. So yeah, I would say that you're going to be supported in your path if you move towards whatever this new idea is this month. So yeah, that's what I see for January 2015. I hope that's helpful. And um, yeah, please feel free to post in the comments. And I also offer personal readings. Um, the information about that is in the little box below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a happy and healthy new year. Thank you.